Hey guys, I want to go over a few things with y'all today on how to do your own Form 1. We're going to do an SBR from either a Zastava or similar type imported pistol, or if you want to do it from an existing 16-inch Title 1 gun. What I have here is a Form 1. Form 1s have to be done before anything else can be done, before you can add a stock, before you can cut the barrel, before you can install an upper, before anything like that's done for an SBR. Let's go over a few things here, guys. We have an ATF form. This is a 50... 5320 ATF form 5320 and what we've got here got some information on here let's go over some of this information this is an application to make and register a firearm application to make and register a firearm this is for individual use individual as you can see here individual then we've got it over here it says tax paid submit with your application check a money order for two hundred dollars made payable to the Department of Justice upon Approval of the application, National Firearm Act stamp. Okay. Now, what you'll do is you'll enter your name. Who's going to manufacture this? Whether it be your name, if you're doing it in trust, uh, you got county, you got a phone number, where it was originally made from, is a Rock River or whoever. Type of firearm is going to be SBR caliber 223556. Model numbers, you can see right here, model number. Uh, Rock River uses, I think, an LAR-15. LAR Barrel is going to be an 8.5, which we're going to make it into. Overall, is going to be 26 inches or whatever you want it to be, guys. Remember, you can always go larger. can't go smaller. Uh, serial number. Purposes for this is collecting. Then all this down here. Like I said, this is your 5320.1. You can go get this off the ATF.gov website. Boy, that page here. Signature of applicant. Then you got the date, name, title of organization, if that's what y'all going to do. Individual, just be signing in here. Photograph, John Doe, Chief Law Enforcement Officer, like you're doing an SBR, or excuse me, a suppressor. And then you've got a Certificate of Compliance. This is a Form 5320.20. 5320.20. This states that you're your own witness for a U.S. citizen. You will sign it here, or excuse me, put your name here, last name. Uh, you got your last name first, first name, middle initial. Do it two times, USA. You would sign it down here and date it. Now, if you guys are doing this under a trust, you don't have to worry about fingerprint cards. You don't have to worry about the chief law enforcement sign off. You don't have to worry about the picture, but you got to make sure and sign a trustee and, and send in a certified or, excuse me, a notarized copy of your trust documents. Okay, so this is the easy part, guys. The doing the paperwork here is the easy part. You've got this is all done in duplicate, it'll be front and back has to be front and back. Can't be this paper and then that be a separate sheet. Has to be front and back, guys. Gotta be front and back. Two of these, one of those, two fingerprint cards if you're gonna do it on your name. Now over here I've got some stuff that gotta give you an idea. It says here, these are identifying markers that have to be done. Uh, I think everybody for the most part knows this, but it's gotta have name, address, city, and state. Now, these things are already going to be on the firearm, but since you're going to be the manufacturer, the end manufacturer on an SBR, you've got to make sure and put your name, whether it be your trust, the Waccamo Family Trust, Ringo, Georgia, Kennesaw, Georgia, wherever it's at, it don't matter. But it's got to be on that form. How it reads on this form one is going to have to be on the gun. Now, right here, I'm going to skip down to a few sections. This talks about 920, 925AB, goes down to on down but it says here further finally the gun control act not it says 922 r specifically states the following it says that no person shall assemble a semi-automatic shotgun rifle or any shotgun or rifle using more than 10 of the imported list below let's see if i can zoom in on these just a little bit so you guys get an idea I'm washing my light out a little bit here see if i can get it See if you guys can picture this. It's kind of hard to see. I apologize for that. The words are real small, guys. But um, we're going to start from the top of the list. And this is right here. It's from the ATF. ATF.gov. Firearms. Frequently Asked Questions. This is what they got here. It says, For the purposes of this section, the term imported parts tabulated below are. You can't have no more than 10 of these guys, okay? It's 922R compliant. Frame, receivers, receiver, casting, forgings, or castings. Barrels. Barrel extensions. 
mounting blocks and or trunnions for AKs, muzzle attachments, bolts, bolt carriers, operating rods, gas piston, trigger housing, triggers, hammers, sears, disconnectors, buttstocks, pistol grips. Okay, now we all know now we've got a form one that's got to be filled out. You're going to be listing yourself as the end manufacturer. If you're using, say, an MMP 1522, which we got on the wall here, it's 11 and a half inch. And it's got MMP 1522 made by Smith. Probably can't make this out, but it says Christian Armory Works, Rock Spring, Georgia. We've done this. We were the end manufacturer. We cut the barrel to 11 inches. It was a 16 inch Title One gun. So we had to put this in there. We had to engrave it in. You don't want to do none of this. You don't want to assemble the upper. You don't want to cut the barrel. You don't want to do anything until you get your Form 1 back. It's illegal. State that. It is illegal. Do what you want to. It's illegal. This is a Zastava M92. As you can see here, Zastava M92. This has been changed from a foreign, totally foreign imported part gun to a 922R compliant gun. What we do to make it 922R compliant? Well, you normally change the trigger out. Use a Tapco trigger if you want to. And uh, I start from the muzzle. This is the muzzle nut that came on it. It's tack welded on. Cut that bad boy off. You see the tack weld right there? Cut the tack weld off. Bought this. This is a booster. They say these things won't function properly if you don't put one of these on it. If it gets, you know, two or three, four hundred rounds ran through it because the gas system is so short up here. It's right here toward the end of the, the gas block. So your gas has a chance to cycle with that bolt right here. It don't have any dwell time past that. So that's it. So I put the booster on it. This is a U.S. made three-piece system. It unscrews right off. It's a 26 millimeter. I think it's a right hand if I'm not mistaken. Um, got that from akbuilder.com. And they even say on akbuilder.com, they'll say for M92. It even specifies that on there, guys. Kind of help you out a little bit. Uh, the wood, we replaced the wood. Got some wood, milled it out. Uh, we even marked it inside, uh, put you know, CAW on it, and uh, made in USA. This is all done with, uh, put some linseed oil on it, use some stain. I think the stain I got here, oh, let's see if I got it, guys. The stain I used was Rust-Oleum wood stain, kind of hard to see it, Cabernet. Yeah. Oh, wow, my daggum video got super loud. But I guess that's good. We can see real good. Got the serial number on the sides. I heard some of them had them back here at the back of the side of the receiver. Uh, I think the early models might have had that when they first imported in. This one's got the serial number here. So uh, it says down here it's made in Serbia. You can't see it's blacked out. But they, that's where they brought it in and milled it. Put a serial number on it, I reckon. Like I said, we this has been replaced. You can replace the gas tube. You can make it have a US made gas tube on it if you want to. Uh, trigger system. So you got one part that counts as one piece. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe the trigger and the hammer count as two pieces, but I honestly cannot remember at this point. Uh, pistol grip counts as one piece. This counts as one piece, even though it's two pieces. The buttstock system counts as one. This is an A side folder. Some of the guys like the true crank style, and uh, that's fine. Not that big a deal. Popped your pop the rivets out, replace new rivets. I didn't want to do all that. Too much work. I want something super simple and I want to be done with it. So I went ahead and done it that way. I got this, like I said, the US Palm. Yeah, you can change the bolt, bolt carrier, trigger, uh, the magazine. The magazine, the interesting part about the magazine, all the links will tell you that the magazine, you got the, you got the floor plate, counts as one part, the follower counts as one part, and then the magazine body counts as three parts. Well, come here to your US made, trusty pro mag magazine that makes it compliant because they come with these <coughs> they come with these steel mags you got a u.s made pro mag magazine makes it compliant you got one two three parts illegal also i wanted to add a little different feature to it so i went ahead and drilled and tapped the side of the receiver as well so i can put a sling swivel i use hk hooks put an hk hook there Put an HK hook here, and I've got my sling swivel. I'm ready to go. And then uh, I use a um, Troy battle rail, or excuse me, a battle sling is what I use for it. And uh, this is pretty easy, guys. Let me put this down here just for a second and see if we can get some.
it has a slight angle to it. You can see it goes slightly back, probably uh, maybe five degrees or so. And I drill and tap that. Come with the screws. And you have to, this, this is a Ford, your Ford, uh, I'm sorry, stock folding mechanism is what this is here that it's going into. Stock folding mechanism. The actual stock, as you can see, attaches with them screws. You can see where it attaches. Cool thing about it, if you don't want to run that kind of stock, hey, guess what? Ace Limited, that's an Ace Limited setup, by the way. I'm sorry, guys, I didn't tell you that. Ace Limited makes one that'll accept a buffer tube. Use a, use a buffer tube, screw a buffer tube right in here, and then uh, I have mounted this one before, as you can tell. All you got to do is put a buffer tube in it, bam, you can go with a... Uh, Go with a mill spec or a commercial tube, whatever, and you can go with Magpul furniture on a stock. Uh, you, they got an adapter here that you can buy. I um, can't remember who makes it right offhand. I don't know if it was uh, Midwest, who it was. You can go to brownells.com and find it. And uh, it's an adapter that goes here so you can take regular AR style grips instead of these. And then now you've got your butt stock that'll match and your grip that'll match if you like the Magpul stuff. I, I'm not traditional, traditional crank guy. I, I like this one because it was a 7 inch. I got the 7 inch, includes the butt pad, instead of the 8 inch, which I got on another AKSBR. And uh, pretty much that's about it. Um, so, what you're going to need? Weapon, of course. Form 1. Has to be back before you do any of this work. You get caught, guys, at your butt, okay? Now, we've got a number 21. Let's see if I can see that. I ain't gonna show it. It's a number size 21 right here. See that? Size 21. Number 21, right below my thumb. Number 21 drill bit. I got this from Mac Tools. I got a guy at Mac Tools. Get some stuff from. Uh, this here is a 10 30 seconds tap. So you drill it, put oil on it, drill it on your on your drill bit, guys. Use your tap. Go slow, turn it a couple of turns, turn in half, back it out, get the chips off so you don't jack your threads up, and drill that, thread it, drill that, thread it, install your parts, and you're good to go. And as you've seen in one of my other videos, gun functions good. I put a um, put a different shepherd hook inside, triggers different, been done. Uh, it's got a mod here for the U.S. Palm grip, Ace side folder stock AK builder US made three piece flash hider and uh, change this wood I mean I really like the weapon some guys may not like it yeah that's fine I understand may want to go this up here may want to say hey I want to do that uh, may want to do an AR you know go from 16 to 10 inches that's cool guys whatever y'all want to do but uh, I just wanted to show y'all this give y'all some information uh, not the best teacher in the world so I hope you guys understand it and uh any questions, feel free to subscribe on YouTube and send them to me, or y'all can email us anytime, Christian Armory Work, uh, uh, James at ChristianArmoryWorks.com or ChristianArmory at gmail.com, either way. Uh, ChristianArmoryWorks.com is a webpage. You can get all the information off there. Uh, and we do, you know, we do sell these sometimes complete. We don't have a, have a real big demand for it, but we can do that. And one more thing I forgot to cover, guys, and I apologize, is make sure, well, I mean, I did up on this gun here, but when you do this, you're going to have to make sure and put your name somewhere on this gun. We got ours down here, and it's been painted black. So I hope this guy, I hope this helps you guys out and go from there. And uh, thanks for watching.